It's a train that has no destination. Elsica Heritage Railway currently runs regular Sunday services that go a mile down the track and back. But now, almost a quarter of a million pounds has been raised to try and double the length of this track, extending it to Corton Wood. The track has been laid and stretches a mile and a quarter down the road towards the Corton Wood Retail Park. The shopping complex is built on the site of the old colliery, which will finally give this track a destination. Funding for a new level crossing and improvements to Elsica Railway Station were raised from public donations and from footplay experiences. The problem now though is that they can't afford the remaining ballast that holds the track together. This means that if a train were to run on the rails now, it would simply sink into the ground. When this is actually complete and we are running, uh, we hope to run a passenger service on, uh, I wouldn't say daily basis, but perhaps two or three times a week initially. So at the end of the day, all this will bring trade to the extra trade to the railway, which is what we want. Uh, we need to keep this going, as I said before, because we're all volunteers. We get no help, outside help from anybody. It is all what we achieve by uh, advertising and getting people to come to the railway and have a good time. So overall, again, it's what we make of it. At the moment, the Heritage Railway are about £40,000 short for the remaining ballast, infrastructure and for Quarterwood's new station. But with the cost and time needed to keep this working railway alive, it's up to the hard work and dedication of the volunteers to keep them moving forward. For the time being, the group are focusing on their Santa special over Christmas, but who knows what's in store for Elsica further down the line. Ollie Constable, Shoe TV.